Talk about a young company. Not only are the three founders you're about to meet all under the age of 30, but their specialty is toys. Here's a story about how having fun can pay off. I just spoke to Bob right now, and I told him that he is going to be able to get 600 units of, you know, of the container that just arrived. When it comes to entrepreneurial juggling, Anton Robbie's an old hand. The issue was whether to give them to Toys R Us or Sears, and I think we should give them to Toys R Us. Okay. Okay. Give, give a little bit more to Toys R Us, but leave us a buffer because someone's going to call. It's November 1998. Uh, Marty, Sarah needs you. His Toronto company, Spin Master Toys, has a mega Christmas sales hit. Sarah, you're the allocation queen. Too many retailers are pleading for too little product. Well, thanks, okay. Anton. Yep. Who wouldn't want this problem? Marty, this is ridiculous. <laughs> We've done this 10 times over the last two weeks. Right. You may remember a younger Anton. We're totally, totally on schedule right now. Okay, everything is very, very well organized now. So He first caught Venture's attention back in 1993. This is a dream come true, and uh, I feel that I'm climbing a mountain right now, and I'm about to hit the top, I'm just about to hit the top and I don't want anything to knock me down. He was 23, and, fresh out of business school, and yes, he sense. really talked like that. It's like a game of chess. You know, there's so, there's so many pawns and so many players. His product back then, Earth Buddies. You remember, those grass head things. Anton's partners were buddies from business school. That's not a problem. Joe, you, you guys are the masters of sawdust. Renan Harari ran purchasing. So basically what I'd be looking from, from you guys is, uh, you know, quite a substantial price reduction. Ben Verity ran the downtown Toronto factory. It was an outstanding day. Congratulations, Jocelyn, that's great. They were green, rough and wrestling with cash flow. They took a chance, manufacturing huge quantities. And the gamble paid off. The partners walked away with half a million dollars profit. That got out of two, five, six. Five years later, November 98, they're a $10 million toy company now with lots of product lines. A company called Spin Master. They're masters of media spin for sure, all over the newsstand with one of the hottest toys of the year. Air Hog. Hey, right on, Kathy. They didn't invent it, but they do own the rights. It's the world's first mass produced air pressure powered plane. Pump it up and watch it fly. It's manufactured in mainland China. Renan's in charge of that. Now I'm a little disappointed because it looks like it will fly really well. And Ben's always looking for their next hit toy. We're not able to learn a lot from this plane, Ben. This radio-controlled plane doesn't impress him much. No lift. Yeah, there's not a lot of lift.